All right, let's see how this goes. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, that was fucking awful. Jesus Christ, I really suck at this. Hey guys, um, Kevin here. I'm doing a video right now for the YouTube channel. Why am I doing this? Well, you know what? It's been a really long time since I've done uh, any content. And as you can see, as a top-notch internet creator type person, you can see that I have a perfect green screen behind me that's perfectly lit and that doesn't have any shadows coming from behind because I just don't want to show off the mess that's behind me. But I started working on a project recently that uh, I'm excited about. I don't know. I may um, sort of document the process, even though I know that it's nothing too crazy, but I got something in the mail today that I'm excited about and I would like to share this with you guys see this little shadow here I put a little light over here I would see this armpit you like that yeah it's because I was getting set up for all this stuff I'm all hot and sweaty now I don't know if this light actually helps but uh, I don't have a studio because I'm poor and I'm cheap the project that I've decided to take on is the GD EMU now I know that that's not like crazy ridiculous new shit, right I mean those have been around for a while but you know those knockoffs that everybody's been talking about for a while I, I bit the bullet and I bought one because you know they've been getting some pretty good feedback from a lot of people saying that they've worked i've seen some people make some videos or having some reviews saying there's been some sound issues or whatever i don't know i saw one for like it was like 36 dollars with free shipping i was like what's the worst thing that could happen i mean you know i've spent 36 dollars on drinking so what the f i mean who cares and i have it so what i decided to do was okay i do want to have my sega dreamcast in working condition for as long as i possibly can so i ended up buying a broken one and i plan on fixing it up but what i do have is I bought a custom shell because I've always wanted to get something like this and uh, let me let me just sort of open this up and I'll put a link in the description and I'll let you guys know if this is any good so it, it just came in this blue box that just like retro is cool and I don't know so this is like I'm not, I'm not like an unboxing type thing but I'm, I'm doing that now because I'm pretty excited about it and <laughs> this was delayed a little bit and here's where I may have to turn the light on so that I can Actually, my desk is so full of shit. So it's an all black Sega Dreamcast shell, completely custom. And I know that these are not, you know, I mean, these have been around for a while. And I'll, what a lot of people do is they'll get the uh, the Sega Sports one, but no, this one is all black. And it has a really nice finish. I would say that it, it feels very much like the, the Sega Dreamcast. And it comes with, and I'm not, I think, the seller, they show the sticker for, you can have one of these bottom stickers that you'll add for your region. Uh, of course, this one is NTSCU, and maybe they give it to you based on, you can either request it, or it's based on where you're buying it from. So it's an empty shell, so if I open it, you can see that it's completely empty. You know, it has the the bump out here for the, the modem, so I'll have to just, I, I guess, disassemble the modem and stick it in there. So I've always wanted to have the black Sega Dreamcast, but I've always hated the Sega Sports thing. And I mean, I, I love the, the Sega Sports games. They're actually probably some of my favorite games on the console. So the goal, the goal of this project is to make this, the modified Sega Dreamcast. So I'll have the, probably, you know, I'll buy the extender card to stick up top here, stick the GDMU in there and the broken one that's currently in the mail i've already bought it it's on its way hopefully i can either fix the uh, gd rom that's in there or i'll use the working one that i have and figure out a solution for whatever but anyways uh i wanted to share this with you because so far i think it's really cool you know I Nobody's paying me for this. I just thought this was really awesome. So far, I'm holding it in my hand and I'm shaking it. It's not breaking. It doesn't come with the screws to hold it together, so I can literally just take it apart and you can see the internals. And then there's your inside of the Dreamcast. So we'll see. It's cool that it's brand spanking new. I'm excited to get my broken Dreamcast in the mail. Should be coming. I should be having it any day now. It was shipped uh, priority, so priority is usually just a couple of days. And stay tuned because this project keeps going. You're going to see some updates. All right. So, anyways, I will see you, motherfuckers, later. Bye. <laughs>